everyone. Today we're talking about temperatures and where they are in the laboratory in our classroom lab. Here we've got two incubators. We have the room air or non-CO2, also known as O2 incubator. And here we have the CO2 incubator. Notice that there are several different um, readouts up here on the panel. I just turned these on so they are not at the correct temperature yet, uh, but that's okay. Uh, the red is the temperature you would be reading. The green is what it's set to be at. So it is going up. That means that the door is closed, that there is a steady increase in temperature because there is a sealed, there's a sealed door here. It's not sticking open. If it was sticking open, then it would start to decrease because you'd be leaving it open and it would go to the temperature of the room. Here, this one I just turned on as well. This is the O2 incubator. It's going to steadily be rising. It's set to 37 as well. Um, if these do not end up reaching 37, you'll let me know um, or your professor know and we can adjust it so that the knob would go to a more intense heat. We could also reset the green uh, temperature here. I have it on silence because the CO2 is not being run and this would just beep and scream at us. Okay, so that is where you would go to look for your temperatures on both of those. Uh, the other temperatures that we will look at are in the prep room. And then we have the dry blocks as well. So here is the um, the deep freezer. Okay, it's a really, really big guy. And the temperature is read down at the bottom. And if you notice, it says negative 80. That is wonderful. Um, we have our temperature charts here and it's circled which one you should be looking at. So uh, the temperature range is negative 90 to negative 70, negative 80 is right in the middle, that's perfect. Our refrigerators, we're expecting to be at two to eight degrees Celsius. So we have a small fridge next to the large deep freezer. The small fridge hold specimens and uh, reagents. It is labeled inside and if you'll notice down in the bottom in the chemistry controls one, we have the area that has the sensor in it. And if you go and pull up from the top, be careful. Oh shoot, that's what just fell. The battery just fell out. Okay, but it would have a digital readout here. Um, there was a problem that we had in the lab before and I turned the, um, the alarm to off, but you would have this on and it would be a digital readout. You would read that and make sure that it is set correctly. I'll get the battery shortly. We have them also measured and um, written up here, recorded up here uh, next to the date. So the temperature would be written and then the initials of the person would be there. The lab assistants or the lab coordinator ends up doing that. But if it's not done yet and you are here, please do it. That would be wonderful. So the other items that you will be using uh, to do temperature are here. And so you have, um, this is the newer, bigger ones that we have. This is the temp, the heating block. And we ha I have a video on the heating block uh, that looks like that in another video. So please watch those to see how you do the temperature. This one is the exact same. You need to make sure that when you turn it on, uh, you turn it on in the back here, right on this side. You would flip it on and then you would press start. They're all already set for 37. If you don't press the start, then um, 
it won't start heating. When you press start, this spot right here will turn yellow and it will then show that it is heating. We always put a manual thermometer in there and you should check the manual thermometer to check that the digital display is reading out the appropriate temperature. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you later. Bye.